Hello, in this tutorial you will learn how to enter a bill using QuickBooks Pro 2016. This is Jeffrey Schultz and I'm a CPA located out of Plymouth, Michigan. I run a medium-sized accounting practice. I've been working with QuickBooks for over 20 years. Uh, so today we are going to set up a new vendor and then enter the bill into QuickBooks. So I have QuickBooks open already and the first thing and then understand with QuickBooks there's five different ways to do one thing. So I'm going to show you one way to do uh, this task which is enter a bill but first we're going to create a vendor. So up here at the top on the word bar it says vendors. I'm going to click on that and then there is vendor center so I'm going to click on Vendor Center and next thing I'm going to do is click on New Vendor up at the top here and then New Vendor again and it will give me up a screen so this will be we'll call it AT&T most people probably pay the phone company and we're going to use zero account balances. Um, I think when you set up a vendor, even if it's not for the first time, you could probably use it so that uh, we don't need to worry about an opening balance. We can always go back and enter in balances later. Um, QuickBooks is very flexible, so once we do something, we're not. Uh, it's not written in stone necessarily. So again, I'm just, so here I'm going to duplicate. AT and T and all this bill information I could fill this in any town USA again I could go back and I could um, I can edit this at any time so um, and just with any of your vendors if they change the addresses it's just easy to come in here into the vendor center and change this so I'm going to say okay and it will create my vendor and we now have one vendor in our vendor list so I'm going to close this uh, vendor center up and go back to our home page but now I'm going to go back up to vendors again and choose enter bills and it'll bring up a, an enter bill screen here in a few seconds and you know, QuickBooks, I think best way to move through the different uh, input screens here on, on a QuickBooks screen is to use the tab. So uh, I'm going to use that along with my click. If I look at the vendors here in, on this arrow down, it will show me AT&T. If I had other vendors set up, it would show me all the list of all the vendors I have. Um, so I can click on AT&T, then I'll tab over to the date, and it's today's date. So we'll use that. If there was a reference number, I could put a reference number there, invoice number, for example. And then I could pay my phone bill, 14.92. And I could put memos in here. If I wanted to, I could say that this is October 2015 phone bill. And then finally, it won't let you record until you choose an account. So, telephone bill. Sometimes we can use this arrow down here, or if we like, we can start typing the expense account that we probably know it is. In this case, telephone expense pops up right away. I can also click on this arrow down menu, and it will give me the entire chart of accounts again. But again, we're going to choose telephone expense, and it is $14.92. So that is our bill. And so I'm going to say save and close. And last thing I'm going to do before we end this session is go up to reports, scroll down to I go to vendors and payables, accounts payable aging is what I like to look at and we will see that we have in our aging schedule we have a bill for AT&T 
and it has a due date of November 14th. And that should wrap it up for entering a bill and creating a vendor. This is Jeffrey Schultz. If you have more questions about QuickBooks, you can find us at www.schultz-cpa.com. Thank you.